What is up, guys? Welcome back to Armor Core Nexus, and we're moving on to disc two, which I believe is called Revolution. I just read it. I, I think it's called Revolution, so we're doing it. How many bits for me to finish the main story of the Pigment Hack? I don't even know what that is, Tetsu. I'm terrified by whatever that could be. I have to look at it. Check it out. Sounds terrifying. Needy being a thick editing backlog. Like you got some AC to watch. Hell yeah, dude. There's always Armored Core to be watched. Still miss your character from FF7? I know. I, I wish they'd bring this stuff back. Oh, there's no... There's no... Oh. Well, I started the video before the game launched. I thought there'd be like a cutscene. It is called Revolution, by the way. Did I hit new game? No, okay. All right, uh, we're here. <laughs> New music, too. All right, so we have Archive. What's Archive? Oh, oh series movies? Oh, we have to unlock them. Episode movies? Illustrations? Galaxy Brain, start a new game on Revolution and import to Evolution. This one, right? Posters and soundtrack. That's cool. Dude, this is a good soundtrack. All right, we're gonna go with the Red Wing for the first mission, I guess. And then let's see what happens. Oh, okay, they're, are they broken up? Oh, okay. Oh, from Armored Core, from Master of Arena. Oh no, the boat mission's back. Revolution has the best music bangers from old games remixed and remastered. That's actually dope. Nexus was literally a love letter to fans, which is funny. So I will say one thing, Artificial Soul, I, on the second playthrough of Nexus that I've done, which is what we just did, or are doing, I am liking it a thousand times more than the first playthrough I've, I did. And that might be being that I'm building the ACs better, or like just doing better in general. Like I know how to use the controls and everything. Anyways, The Great Destruction. The Great Destruction plunged the world into, a, into darkness. Survivors of the horror were forced underground to escape the ruin left behind. From the ashes of civilization emerged a mercenary organization known as the Raven's Nest. Yeah, the heat's annoying, Captain Dirk, I agree. Best music only in apocalyptic games. That's fair, Alden. I can get behind that statement. Yeah, it's like the greatest hits. Yeah. No cap. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's called Remake. Eliminate Strikers. Client Chrome area is the Doan Bridge where Doan carries rocks with his Zaku to throw at people. The enemy is Worker MTs. The objective is to kill all of them. It's so quiet. All right, hold on. Why is it so quiet? Are the sound settings different for this one? What's up, Darkest Berserker? How are you? Let's see if that fixes it. Oops. you guys hear that yeah we're on the second disc could you guys hear that prompt right there okay or are you just saying yes the second disc All attempts aimed at persuading them to give up their feudal protest barely okay according to their representative they will only negotiate terms with someone from company headquarters <sighs> i could read them i guess The guy's shy. The thing is, the the soundtrack music is so loud comparatively. Now I now I bet when we get in the mission, everything's super loud. If that's the case, we're gonna just have to deal with quietness because I can't really change any other audio settings to make that louder, but also not blow your ears out with the the audio from the game or the the music. Hmm. 
mission. Main system. Main yeah, no, this is loud. So this is literally the first, like one of the first missions from Armored Core uh, One. I know, right? Artificial Soul doesn't make sense, and I'm playing on an actual PS2, so I don't know what else I can do. Wait, is there a part on this in this mission? In the first game? Or am I thinking of a different game? You must not beat this mission. Wait, where is it at? Well, they might have changed that in the remake, though. Of the mission. Because there was, there definitely was one here in Armor Core 1. I agree with that. Oh well. The bridge is six times wider. It does seem a lot wider, yeah. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. We're gonna just turn the volume back down. And I can read the prompts. Even though it's going to be awkward, I'm going to be reading over the person reading them, but I'll do it just for you guys. And if it's really annoying, tell me after the next one. Sound good? That's the plan. I need the feedback, though, if it's annoying or not. We can just skip through it then. I try to be. All right. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Garage. I want system. All right, second mission in episode one, The Great Destruction. It is extend side. I am ambush strike team. Client is chrome, area is fuel warehouse number six. Enemies are gener general purpose ACs. The objective is to destroy the enemy force. I don't think they're ACs though. The rioting that flared up throughout Avalon Valley the other day has finally been brought under control. Accomplishing this required us to divert forces from the East District, leaving it undefended. Murakuma took advantage of the situation and sent one of their strike teams into the area. As unwelcome as this development is, it does provide us with a perfect opportunity to expose Murakuma's questionable conduct and willingness to engage in open hostilities. Our plan is to lure the strike team into a fuel storage warehouse located in the district and contain them there long enough for you to get into position. Damage inside the warehouse is to be kept to a minimum. Eliminate your targets as quickly and efficiently as possible. Put the music all the way up without fear. Just blow my eardrums out and everybody else's. <laughs> So I guess this is our general purpose uh, ACs, the, the other one, not, not the Walker MTs, the other ones though. Which I don't know if they're actually called Walker MTs, I've, just, I've always called them that though. Berserker's truly a Berserker. These cutscenes weren't in the original game. This is kind of dope actually. Ooh, yes. All right, that, that dude's a badass. Raven, the enemy has advanced faster than expected. They're already inside. It's a bomb. The whole place is set to blow. Do we disarm the bombs? You have to disarm those bombs. Yep. Main system, engaging combat. Whoops. Be careful, disarm. Alright, these guys are aggressive. With the hops. Don't worry about a chrome operator, everything's going fine. By the way, all the S ranks give parts, musics, and posters, etc. Oh, okay. So wait. Are there not hidden parts in these missions then, Tetsu? Is it all just um 
ranking based. Oh. Four targets remaining. Whoops. Three targets remaining. That's a surprise, okay. I'm not like super concerned with getting all the parts in the second disc. I more or less just want to play all the missions because I never did this before. What if I just ignore you guys? You're going to blow this up in front of my face, aren't you? Two targets remain. One target remain. Looks like that was the last bomb. Handgun build would have been better for this fight. Dude, I don't know who these general and AC pilots are, but they're kind of a badass. Badasses, I should say. Oh, I don't think there is there there's not even plus in this now, is there? All targets destroyed. Nice work, Raven. You feel we sad for a wildcat? Isn't that the dude who ambushes you during one of the missions in Armored Core 1? Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal mode. That mission was a little more aggressive than I planned on it being. So that's different from Armored Core 1, right? There were, those dudes were definitely not a thing in 1. After successfully turning Murakuma's own plot against them, Chrome went a step further and tarnished the company's image through a clever campaign of information manipulation. Chrome's persistence in the matter is a perfect example of the lengths the company is willing to go in order to succeed. It is this kind of determination that gave rise to the organization. Yeah, Artificial Soul, those uh, pseudo-ACs were a lot better than I expected them to be. Okay. Oh, what, what, wait, what did that just say? Did anyone read that? I completely didn't read it. I, I missed it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, we're gonna destroy the security force. We're fighting for the other side now. Struggle operatives have incited workers in Avalon Valley to rise up against Chrome. Our intention is to stem Chrome's relentless drive to secure power over the region. The hope was that Chrome would lash out without any consideration for their actions and thereby turn the region's populace against them. So far, this hasn't happened. The situation cannot be allowed to drag out in its current state, so we've decided to switch tactics and go on the offensive. If we destroy Chrome's security units, we can expose their vulnerability. Head to the bridge and help the workers accomplish this task. Take care not to injure any workers, as this would reflect poorly on our movement. Oh, no, you're good, Rodan. There's no... I, I already know what happens in all the games up to Nexus. Well, I know what happens all the way up through for answers, so there's no spoilers here. Unless Human Plus is a thing you can get in Revolution that I'm not aware of, which you can tell me. I don't, I don't care. Main system. Engaging combat mode. So this is cool. We're actually fighting for the other side now in some of these missions. That's dope. Don't kill them! Kill me! I'm the actual threat here, not the worker MTs. Oh, this damn crane weapon. <laughs> Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal. All right, that deserves an S rank in my opinion, but we'll see. And the verdict is S. AC part CR194DD2. I love how they don't tell you what the part actually is. 
I'm not gonna- I'm gonna look it up. Inside part, okay. And we got a poster and a music soundtrack. I'm right here, come on and do it. Are you referencing the uh, a Predator right now, Connery? Old Arnold? Oh, they're decoys. That's cool. Also, I want to try to get an S rank on the remake mission. Ooh, bonus background music. Hell yeah. Then we can go look at the posters and stuff unlocked from the first block of missions. Because I want to see all this stuff. Because when I did the, when I played Nexus originally, I think I did a couple of these missions, but not the full clear. We're going for a full clear this time. Which hopefully is reasonable to do. Don't know that. Main How old was I when I did this? Uh, so that was like two years ago. So uh, 26. <laughs> Probably 26, 27, depending on how long ago it was. Yeah. Oh, there's the S frame. That didn't change anything. All right. Uh, let's see here. Movies? Nothing. Episode movies. We Oh, we have the one from episode one. Great, right, right, right. Illustrations? Did we get any illustrations? Posters. Look at that badass right there. That actually is sick right here. From Armor Core Project Phantasma. Then Master of Arena. And then Armor Core 2. Cool. And then. Ooh. Oh, it's a remix, dude. That's cool. Oh, this is a good one right here. Apex and Circle. I like it. <sighs> Fucking nine. Timeless. We got a lot of these already, huh? Well, this is timeless right here. <gasps> I love this song. Silent line, similar mode. Ooh, epic. Monkey likes daddy. This was another good one. Got a whole listening party worth of bonus stream here. I know, right, Connery? You, you last played Last Raven over 10 years ago, yeah. I, I, I played Last Raven about two years ago for the first time as well. Alright. Next set of missions. The Great Destruction's complete. On to Raven's Nest from Master of Arena missions, it looks like. Defense Submarine from Armored Core Master of Arena. File number 2981. Excerpts. Periodic report. Chrome's rapid expansion into territorial waters is becoming a cause of, for concern. They are not a true threat yet, but that will change in their, if their actions go unchecked for much longer. It's an alarming development. They could have picked a better color for that text. Th that was slightly hard to read. Anyways, uh, defend the submarine. Client is RNG Industries. Area is Ocean Shipping Route. Escort the submarine. With terrorist activity against their interests at all time high, RNG Industries has opted to hire an escort to accompany their transport submarine dur during its next voyage. Your objective is during the mission, this mission will be to safeguard the submarine against attacks and ensure that it reaches its destination safely. It is impossible to predict what kind of trouble might be encountered during the trip, so prepare your AC as best you see fit. We didn't. 
So it'll be fine. Artificial Sky and Endline are dope. It, they are dope. I like both those songs. I mean, most of Armored Core's soundtrack is inc incredible, so. Hover legs would have been targets good. Targets detected off the stern. Yeah. See it. They're enemy battle cruisers. Stay alert. All right, communications officer. Uh, what was that? That wasn't a torpedo. <laughs> I guess it was a missile. Main system engaging combat mode. Problems with the engines are preventing us from submerging. Watch our back till repairs are complete. Take care around the water. Your AC can't be recovered. Wait, are you not an enemy now? Oh, you are. Okay. I don't have a blade. Shit. Are you dead? Yeah, no even plus indeed. That's uncomfortable. Watching those come at you like that. I don't know if I can fly to the other one over there. It's too far away. It's still firing rockets. Well, it's been a while, so I'm glad that happened. We even fell, fell in the water in quite some time, so... And it's fitting for that mission. <laughs> Anyways, let's try that again. <laughs> Gotta keep those toes dry, I know, right? Alright, we can actually... You know what? I'm gonna break, and we'll make you a hover boy. Because why not? Wet mech socks are the worst? I guess so. Um... I refuse to use that. I like this one. I'm gonna try something different. the machine gun on I don't know about this but we'll, we'll, we'll try it all right it'd be hilarious if we still went underwater here for whatever reason if hover legs didn't work as I was thinking they're gonna work that'd be awesome I'm pretty sure that ship was still firing tor missile torpedo rocket things because it was none of the above. Maybe rockets because they weren't guided. Main system engaging combat. Problems with the engines are preventing us from submerging. Are you, wait, are you serious? Back until repairs are complete. Why are we overheating? Take care around the water. Your AC can't be recovered if it falls in. Can I destroy this thing? It wasn't the energy that was the problem, it was the heat generation. Can you not die, sir?
Oh, wow. Yeah, boosting with these is bad. Talk about a waste of ammo. I got it. There's no lines on the map. How do I know when I'm leaving the area? Do I literally just defend this thing for a certain amount of time? I thought that you could kill everything. Maybe I'm thinking of a different mission. Oh. Hang in there. All right. I don't understand why we can't blow that up, but whatever. Mission failed. System switched to normal mode. What? Did the ship blow up? I guess. <laughs> oh, I had double I had double micro missiles on. All right, well, we're just going to sit on the sub, I guess, and shoot the missiles as they come in. I thought that if we could blow the ship, we could blow the uh, attacking ships up and not worry about it. But apparently that's not the goal of this mission. So it is just to survive. And I'm pretty sure when we did these before, they never, the ships never shot those torpedo missile rockets, but it's fine. We're still going to fly over there and blow the, blow up the cannons Main on the ship. Engaging combat. Whether or not that's, we'll probably fall in the water. Here, the engines fine. are preventing us from submerging. Watch our back until repairs are complete. Take care around the water. Your AC can't be recovered if it falls in. You know, I feel like we have the technology. If we can build giant flying robots, we could uh, recover the AC at the bottom of the water. Listen, that didn't happen. No one saw that. Don't worry about it. Um, imagine getting hard stuck on this mission, right? Of all the things you get stuck on. Um, I feel like they could definitely get us out of the water though. We have all the technology. You can't, you don't have, you have submarines. You can't go get my AC. Are ACs watertight? They would, you would think they would be. Right? Main system, engaging combat mode. Problems with the engines are preventing us from submerging. Watch our back until repairs are complete. Take care around the water. Your AC can't be recovered. You're going to shoot missiles, I feel like, so you got to die. Oof. All right, we are here. Now we protect. Uh, we could actually afford to pay for our own recovery mission right now. We have millions of credits. And based off what the corporations pay us to commit war crimes, I think we could afford it. Those are the actual targets, and everything else is just a distraction. Repairs are almost complete. Nope. 
Don't touch me. Repairs complete. We're preparing to die. Please head back. Oh, I'm right here. All right, there we go. Mission objective achieved. System switch to normal mode. You just finished panel lying and decaling the, this kit. It looks unreal. Post it in Discord, Billy. I'll take a look at it. An amphibious AC would be awesome. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, that, those never are a thing, actually. We don't have the technology. A series movie and a poster. Okay, so now we want to capture the mining platform for Maracuma Millennium. Ocean mining platform. Enemies as combat helos. Unknown objective. Uh, unknown, unknown enemies. Objective is to eliminate targets. Oh, there's an MT. Oh, yeah, that's true. Raven, we just received a new mission request. A client is seeking our help recapturing a remote ocean mining platform long thought to have been abandoned. Ships belonging to one of Chrome's subsidiaries, RNG Industries, have been spotted playing, uh, plying the surrounding waters with increasing frequency. The most recent sighting was a military transport sub. Initial indications are that the mining platform is being converted into a military outpost by RNG Industries at Chrome's behest. It seems that recent conflicts have put all involved on edge. Murakuma's concern is the shift in power that, goes, that, that will occur if the platform's, platform's conversion goes unchecked. Your objective is to eliminate all security elements of the station at the platform. Their full strength is unknown, so operate with caution. Okay. Um, so we are protect, now we attack, then? Makes sense, right? Protect, then attack? I think it sounds like a plan to me. Don't drop me in the water, that'd be very unfortunate. But also hilarious. Entering target area. Deploying AC. Main Ow! What the oh. Who is shooting? What? Oh. Yeah, these helicopters are tearing me up right now. Oh, hello. Incoming AC detected. Huh? Son of a bitch, I was kidding. Oh, I, wait, 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 wait. Who are you? You have those damn linear gun arms. AC gimmick box identified. What was his name? Gimmick box? I'm not trying to, Queen. not going well. Okay, okay, you're you're really being fucking annoying, huh? I need to go down and fight him, but I can't go down there. I will die. Those arms are the most frustrating weapon to play against in most of these games.
I'm gonna have to build, do a rebuild the hover AC for this. Yeah, I can't do this sitting on this platform and just waiting for him to fly up. Yeah. Gimmick box, thank you. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, I could do. We could probably convert one of the units for this instead of doing a new build. Because hover legs are ass also with the heat generation. And I'm not trying to redesign something completely because of heat generation right now. Only two hover legs are good. Which ones are they with Tetsu? I guess I didn't look at that. Well, I mean, these two are better. For heat generation, at least. Oh, well, this would be nice to have on. So we have a decent amount of weight. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll let's just try this. So we were using the, the Zaku EX without having a uh, having any um, <coughs> optional parts on the whole time. All right, so we'll use our missiles on the. Uh, well, maybe we save our we so we'll save the extension for when he shows up, but we'll use our our missile or just our regular triple missiles for the helicopters. Um, to save the handguns as well for when he gets there. It's going to be a DPS race, though, I think, to, to win this fight. And, and not getting hit, but at least if we get hit, we can still hover. All right, come on, buddy. Stupid AC. Cool cutscene, though. I guess. AC gear box identified. The unit is equipped with weapon on Avoid head on attack maneuvers. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Well, that went better. <laughs> the handgun build is just OP. I can't even say anything bad about it. Like, we just do so much damage so quickly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyways, glad we got that done. Probably not an S rank, though. Report file number 2996 excerpts. Merkuma's top executives have decided that attacks should be launched on Crim's installation bordering the company's territorial waters. 
The level of conflict in the contested region is expected to intensify during the coming days. I, yeah, Tetsu, I know. I know that handguns are OP. Um, he also ate the triple missiles too, which does a lot of damage. And hey, we got an S. And we got the AC part, the YWH-07 Dragon. What is that? YWH-07 Dragon. Oh, it's a laser rifle. Nice. Take a look at it. Test model design for use in, com in mobile combat engagements. This looks familiar. It's probably in Last Raven, too. All right. And we got some new stuff in the archive to look at, which we're going to do as we unlock it. Oh, we got to watch the opening a movie for AC1, right? Uh, any illustrations? That's a negative. But posters, we got a poster for Armored Core 2. Another one for Armored Core 2. And one for another age. And one for another one for another age. Nice. Soundtracks. We got insurance money version sill. And that's it. All right, next set of missions. Episode three, Mercenary. Remove gun emplacement from Armored Core. Good mission. File number 0054. Chrome's Artificial Island. Chrome and Maracuma, the two most powerful corporate entities in the subterranean world. Their initial struggles for control escalated into full-blown warfare. All right, so remove gun emplacements is for Maracuma Millennium, and we gotta destroy some gun. Em that's, that's the mission, actually. So the target of this mission is a Chrome gun emplacement. The gun emplacement's construction site is located in an ocean buffer zone on the fringes of Maracuma territory. Repeated warnings for uh, to halt construction have been completely ignored. Chrome offers only transparent excuses about maintaining security, but their intention is clearly to prepare the area for a preemptive military strike. They leave us no other choice but to use force. We're counting on you, Raven. Handguns deal heat and knockback rate? Yes. Well, they deal heat damage, and I believe they have a stun effect, Darkness Berserker, like they have in past games as well. So they're just overall really strong, especially in Nexus with the heat generation. All right, this water was not deep in the original game. Is it deep water now? Entering target area. It Deploying looks like deep AC. water now. They did drop <laughs> They literally dropped us in the water. Why this mission is harder than it was before? All right, we got it. The water wasn't deep. I know in the original it wasn't. I, it looked like it was there, though. Okay. No, it doesn't matter. That would be hilarious if they just dropped you in the ocean. We got a poster. I want to do this one more time. I think I can get the S rank. If it's not deep water, then I can approach that completely differently. And not get overwhelmed by the bullshit. Because I knew it wasn't originally, but that looked like, I don't know, different. <laughs> Main system. So misleading. Mission 
So, the only other thing I could think of is if we ha we might have to destroy the other MTs to get the S rank, maybe. But if not, that should have done it right there, I think. There we go. Alright, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to protect the gun emplacements from aerial bombs. And being that might mean bomber planes and the like, we're going to go back to Red Wing because we have better range on it. Alright, this is an emergency request. Krim is playing an attack on the gun emplacement we captured a few days ago. They must be stopped. According to our reports, they intended to bombard the emplacement using heavy explosives dropped from high-flying bombers. They seem prepared to accept the facility's destruction. The defenses in place at the site are not fully operational yet, and there is no way they can bear the full brunt of an all-out assault. We, never, we need your help to destroy the bombs before they hit. Also, it's very likely the attack will consist of more than just a few high-altitude bombing runs. Stay on your toes and be prepared to deal with the unexpected. The mission will be called off, and the gun emplacements abandoned should it sustain excessive levels of damage. We trust that your presence will ensure that it doesn't happen. It's clear we can expect further confrontations with Chrome in the future. Our battles won't end here. This is why we need to take a stand and consolidate our gains. Me too, Darkness Berserker. Water and AC games is very anxiety inducing. Just cause like you never know. It could be deep, it might not be. If you touch it, you might go under. You might be able to go mostly under before you actually sink. Who knows? Someone gonna stop that? That's kind of our job. The bombers have released their payloads. Oh, they're just floaty boys. Protect the gun emplacement at all costs. All right, cutscene. Can we move on so I can stop them before they hit? I assume we only care about the ones that are going to hit, like, the immediate platform, maybe? Like, those ones out there don't matter, do they? Oh, maybe they do. I remember there was a mission in Last Raven that I specifically had to use a sniper rifle on, where those things were, like, climbing up the walls. I forget if they were Amita or MTs. But this reminds me of, some, of, of that mission where you actually need to bring a long range weapon. Uh, I believe there's vertical missiles, yeah. Um, Darkness Berserker. We haven't used them though. The, ber the uh, micro missiles and the triple missile are my usually, are usually my go to. Their MT is inspired by Snipe Ball AC. Gotcha, Billy. What's Snipe Ball? I'm not wasting Bert. Micro misses on that missile. Being that an AC might show up here soon. Raven, heads up. Armored train. The monorail is laden with explosives. Oh, okay. Take out the lead car before it reaches the facility. Uh, which directions is coming from? Fuck me, okay. Well, I guess we don't get to know. Where the fuck is it? Oh, is it? oh, okay. Well, they give you a lot of time to prepare for it to show up.
Oh. No, we're good. Um, I think he blew up at the last possible second right there, for the record. <laughs> oh, Sniper Nar Narwhal. Your AC names are Narwhal, Heavy Wall, and Snipe Wall. Ooh, I like that naming convention, Billy. That's cool. That is very dope. Clench it, I know, right? All right, report file number 0108. Murakuma has secured possession of the contested gun emplacement and its surroundings. The region is quickly becoming a hotbed of activity between Chrome and Murakumo. The situation, situation is expected to deteriorate further as tensions mount. Ooh, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure that hit that hit the building right there, but we'll uh, we'll call it a win, I guess. Hey, we unlocked the other finger part, so we can do dual fingers now. Uh, we have AC Movie 2. What is that? Illustrations. Oh, concept art. This is dope. Tank, reverse joints. Dude, it'd be so cool to own these. Thick boy. And then we got an Armored Core 3 poster. And, and a Silent Lion poster with a pilot. That's cool. Oh, and one more. Another Silent Lion poster. Nice. Now we can indeed finger everybody. Um, we could probably do a build with those. That could be kind of fun. Roll bursty, like. Uh, you know what? Not right now. Everyone knows what that weapon is at this point. It's been like all the games. Okay, so we're moving on. We have one more here? Yep. Yeah. Okay, reverse side. Defeat Assault Force. Thwart the attackers. Raven, this is an urgent request. One of our newly constructed gun emplacements is being subjected to a vicious attack. The defense perimeter is already in shambles. Reports coming in from the battlefield are hazy, but all indications uh, point to struggle as the group responsible. Although this may be the case, we su suspect Murakuma is somehow involved. Sooner or later, we'll have to stand against Murakuma, so we might as well gain the upper hand now. This isn't simply a fight for one facility. It's a means to ensure our continued survival. Your objective is to eliminate all forces in the attack. Work quickly, Raven. That is all. Okay. Someone who can Photoshop to take the finger guns meme and put, put the fingers on it. That'd be hilarious, actually, Billy. I don't have that skill set. Well, I could probably figure it out, but I, uh, someone should do it and then put it in Discord. Main system. Engaging combat. How are you not dead? Why are my missiles not firing? Oh my god. Raven, do something. That was awkward. Yeah, Raven. I'm trying, Cookie. Doesn't always work out as intended, alright? Sometimes hands don't work. those things hello ace pilots and your fly boys ow that one just sued he just suicided into the gun emplacement <laughs> whatever it works well, that's definitely not an S rank, but it's complete. You have to press the button so they come out. Thanks, Darkest Berserker, for the tip. I'll try to implement it on the next mission. <laughs> All right, give me that C rank now, because that was bad. I still got an A emblem and a music and a soundtrack. Ooh, wait a second, emblem. What do we get? 
Well, it's saying it doesn't. Was it this one? Did we get the cat? Did we get the kitty? I don't know. I still like this one the most. The angel. Doggo. Master of Raven. Those are all actually cool. We might have. I think you can import these in whenever you go to Last Raven. But with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode for YouTube right here. Next time, we will continue working our way through the Revolution Disc of Nexus and doing all these old missions. It should be a good time. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.